this ever on the show to, to, to before, but we want to talk about bobby pins, and yeah. I think they're so important because you are sort of like the queen of the updo. You're very good with bobby putting pins. your hair up. It's all about the bobby pins. my pin. life. <laughs> yes. Bobby pins are such a great tool, and it's amazing how many people don't know how to use them. And I actually got this idea from my own clients because they don't know how to pin them exactly and what to do and what to look for in a good pin. Right, okay, so this is our model, Sue, that yeah. you pulled from the audience. Thank you, Sue. Yes. Teach us a little bit about what we need to know about bobby pins to use them properly. Okay, so first of all, the actual pin is very important. <laughs> Believe it or not, um, it should not be flimsy. It should have a really tight uh, grip on it. You. And if you find a pin uh, you know, any old cheap pin from the drugstore, sometimes when you open them, they don't snap back right. and they, they end up staying open like that. Right. So you use them one time and then they're falling out and they're not holding anything. Those really are, are, they're not high quality pins. So you want to look for a pin that's really nice and taut and that also matches your hair color. And there's so many good pins and I this is my guilty, like these pins <laughs> are my favorite bobby pins. But look at what they come in, brown and auburn and also black and brown. So if you have black hair, don't use a brown bobby pin. No. If it's you have blonde hair, you know, use a blonde bobby pin. Yeah. So these are great. The other thing is to know the difference between a hairpin and a bobby pin. Okay. The hairpins are for detailing work on light hair and then the, uh, the actual bobby pin is better for securing the hair to begin with. Okay, so, so I'm going to show both. If you're doing an updo and you've got those little curly cues that aren't yes. sticking out, you use the hair pin. Exactly. But if you need that hair to stay in one place, you're using a bobby pin. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Good stuff. All right. So second thing is the hair. And Sue's hair is so slippery. Um, so that's exactly the type of hair that we usually have challenges with. I'm just going to spin around here. All right. Um, so a couple of things you want to do is you need to prep the hair a little bit. Because it's so slippery, you put in a bobby pin and it just falls right out. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the, a, a great Great product Your hair's to use. too clean is what's happening uh, yeah, here, well, <laughs> We need to dirty happens. it up a little. Yeah, exactly. You want to get a little bit of grip and a little bit of, yeah, dirty it up a little bit. Uh -huh. So one of my favorite um, types of product is a salt spray. Oh. So this is just one. There's lots out there. Um, this is something you want to spritz into the mid lengths and ends of the hair before you pin it. And all it does is it creates a little bit of a little bit of guts in there, right. all right? The other thing is a volumizing powder, and I'm not joking, this is like glue for bobby pins. If you put <laughs> this in the roots of whatever area, if you plan to pin hair here, yep. well then put a little salt spray in there. I can already feel that this is gonna hold more. And then also a little bit of dust it. Sorry, I'm gonna show off your, your regrowth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all right, we've all been there. Yeah, so you're gonna put that in through the hair and even you can put it in a little bit in the ends. Okay. And now when I put a bobby pin in there, it's like really gonna be glued in. Okay, so we've got the thickness, the hair's got a little bit of integrity, you've yep. had some fun with the roots there, you mm -hmm. know, making it so that it's really going to hold the pin. Now fastening yes. the pin. Okay, so there's What are a... we doing wrong? <laughs> it was actually interesting, one of the episodes um, that I did a twist demo, yes. I noticed that I pinned it in backwards and you said, oh, I would have never normally done that, I would have gone the other way. Yeah. So I think that's an interesting fact, is the way you pin it should be the opposite direction of where the hair is going to. Yeah. So if you take hair from the front okay. and roll it into the back and you want to pin that there and even create a little bit of volume, mm -hmm. I've already prepped it so it's nice and grippy in there. I would actually take the pin, put it this way, oh. and then put it in the opposite direction. That's cool. Okay, so what happens is I'm taking this over the top and locking it in backwards. And that's really gonna hold it there, Hugely. Isn't it? And then second, I talked about before, is crossing the pin. Right. So you need to open, you can do the same thing, but if I know I went in a certain direction, I actually wanna cross it in the opposite in the opposite way. So you have basically an X going on with your bobby pins mm -hmm. and that's really going to secure it. Exactly. Nice. So one thing I'm going to show um, or something that I think is is important is when people want to just pin hair out of their face. Mm -hmm. It's so simple to just, you know, be like, I don't I don't want all of this hair hanging in my face. I just kind of want it out of the way. Yeah. So if you want to do that, you can just take a little section and probably a lot of people have tried to do this before. Maybe we'll spin you actually a little bit to the right. Where you might have something like, you know, like this. 
So if you're going to pin this out of your face, again, you want to actually hide the pin in the twist. Because doing a cross section might be a little bit, you don't want that pin necessarily showing. Sticking out. Yeah, and sticking That's out everywhere. That's what mine do when I do it myself. Yeah, so take a nice, a nice section. Mm -hmm. And again, I would spray this and dust it this and do put the prep into it's the hair. It's still a little slippery, I get it. Yeah, exactly. So easy ways, I mean that little twist just looks so elegant. Really easy ways to do it as long as you know how to use a pin. And what yeah. are the gingers out there supposed to use? Do they go with blonde? We uh, should protest. Where's the red yeah, bobby pins? That's right. For the redheads yep. out there. I mean, they needed to. And I will give a shout out as well to another pin master. That is Janice Whelan, my oh, hairdresser. Your hair looks Look gorgeous at, like, today. Look at she does incredible things with an updo. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I just have to take out about 65 pins when I get home. Yeah. Now, Michelle has brought Schwarzkopf Osis Session Salt Spray and dust it for everyone in the audience. So I need it. Yeah. Take it home and try it out and get those pins going. Yeah. Let's put a break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us.